So today we're going to show you how to use filtering in waves. So let's start with the first Ridgecrest earthquake. So here's a selection of stations. So we'll just look at the verticals. Here we have local Richter magnitude estimated. Here are the filter controls. Our preset filter, which you set in settings. Here you have one that you can type in a filter. So let's say you want one to 20 Hertz and we'll filter all channels hit the red button to clear it from all channels. And if you want to apply that filter to a particular channel, you can use the, the small buttons on each channel. Let's look at this GWY station. So we'll maximize that to full screen. Now, at the bottom of the screen, there is a little pull-up drawer, which we can bring up, and that shows our FFT fast Fourier transform, so our Fourier spectrum. So we can see that this data is recorded at 100 samples per second, so we can see from 0 to 50 hertz. And this is a linear scale. You can change this to a log scale by clicking here. Um, you can also change this to a power spectral density plot by clicking the log scale again. And if you want to see that relative to the Peterson low noise model and high noise model, click here and you'll see where all of that signal lies. Now, if we highlight a section of the data, it will only plot the uh, frequency spectrum for that portion. So you can see here, this is the sort of background noise of this station pre-earthquake. If we right click on it to select all, it shows it all. So in the FFT window, let's have a look at it in log scale. If we wanted to filter out some data or to look at only a certain section, we can do that using these controls rather than these filter controls up here. So say we wanted to only look at this section of data, we would say filter just to there, and then the filter is shown up here. This is what we've actually filtered. We can revert using the, the red button. If we wanted to exclude a particular amount of signal, so we can highlight a section we want to exclude, so we can use the, this filter out button and it will drop that section out and remove that from the time series as well. So now it's a customized filter. So you can do multiple notches. So you can just notch that little bit out as well. Um, and then you're revealing only particular frequencies. So you can do that on any of these screens here. You can notch this part out. And again, it's not plotting it down here and it's removed it from the time series. You can clear it from down here or clear the filter from up here as well. So that's our FFT and PSD plotting window down the bottom, which you can toggle open with F key. The other frequency plotting we have is our spectrogram. So when you're looking at a channel, you can hit the little rainbow button here to see the spectrogram of the record. So it is showing you a relative power plot. Now again, it's in log plot at the moment, we can show it as a linear plot, but that doesn't show you very much. And you can also change the sampling window size. So here we have, we can uh, increase the size of the sampling window, which sort of stretches out the signal, or you can reduce it uh, if you want a bit more resolution. So it's really a matter of tuning the signal that you want to look at. And you can also change the, uh, the zero point. So if you want to uh, see some of the lower level signals, you can increase it until you can start to see some of the background noise uh, and similarly we can reduce it. So that's the spectrogram and filtering.